Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's another episode of What She Wanted versus What She Got, where I try to replicate an acrylic uh, photo of acrylic nails um, as press on nails to show you guys how to do it. So if you'd like to see how I did this, uh, please keep watching. So we're jumping right into the video. So we are going in with the uh, some nail tips. I'm going to be starting out with some Eno Couture. These are the long sculptured square and I just cut them down a little bit to be in the middle of a medium and a long square. Um, not like a super long, but like a medium long, you know what I mean? I'm going to be using these products right here. Uh, this color by Nail Addict and now they're uh, actually rebranded and their new name is uh, Nail Reserve LA. So I'm using that color and then um, also my Koopa matte top coat is very key in this as, as well. So um, I did notice that I actually messed up and I kind of uh, didn't record this one beginning part, but I actually already did the nail tips and I put the base coat on. And um, then after that, I went in with my Koopa matte top coat. I realized that I didn't do the blue lines. So in a different case, if you're gonna be recreating any set like this, you wanna do your base coat or anything like that on your press-ons, and then you wanna go in with your designs, then matte top coat at the end. So I accidentally did a matte top coat before my design. That's why you see me doing the design right now, but it's okay. I just wanted to bring that up really quickly. Um, and I'm just gonna be adding a second layer of matte top coat on top of this. So if you see me doing that again, that's why. But I'm adding this really gorgeous baby baby blue color to the edges and I really quickly actually wanted to show you guys the inspo picture because this is like an episode of what she wanted versus what she got uh, it actually is because I'm replicating a photo and I'm trying to do my best I'm trying to replicate it to the best of my abilities but using products for press on nails instead of acrylic nails so really quickly let me insert the picture here of what I'm going to be trying to recreate so this is the picture that my customer sent me. I wish I knew the original creator, but unfortunately I don't. But as you could see, it's just the blue French tips with the clear back and then all the gems. So I'm super excited. I actually did do my own twist and switched up the gems a little bit because I don't have those exact same charms, but she was totally fine with that. So let's continue with the video. Um, one thing I did want to mention is while I was doing these blue tips, if you guys already watched my channel or if you're new, welcome. Um, I do file my nail tips at the very end to get a really nice clean shape. As you can see, the shape is already really good. Like you don't even need to file them to be honest because the shape is good. But uh, that's probably just because I cut them with the nail tip cutter. Um, what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to file the tips a little bit just to really sharpen it up and make it really nice and crisp uh, for really good nail pictures and just so that they look really nice. And uh, one thing I did want to mention is that I do bring the blue down ever so slightly longer on the top, like on the tips and the nails, because I know I'm going to be filing it down and some of the blue might disappear. So just keep that in mind if you file your tips at the end so that you don't have more work to do. This is just a little tip. I just wanted to tell you guys in case you already do, uh, if you do file your nails like me, but I just, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And um, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other hand. Again, I don't know how while I was making the set, I didn't realize again that I did the same thing. I put the matte top coat without putting the design. And I didn't realize till the end. I was like, okay, it's already too late, whatever. So anyways, I'm doing the matte top coat before. But yeah, like I mentioned, just make sure you do your design. Then the matte after, because I don't know how I messed that up. Anyways, now's my favorite part. We are going to be pulling out all the gems that I need for this set. So if you saw in the photo, there's like crystals and then there's regular like little gems, different stuff. So I right away thought about these. This is my super cute Hello Kitty container that I had for sale over on my nail supply Instagram. If you're interested, um, but yeah, I pulled out those really cute little silver kind of charms. They're really, really pretty and I love those. And, um, I'm also going to be pulling out some blue stones. So I kind of wanted to look through this one. I have these blue ones that are like a lighter blue. And, um, I also have some darker blue that I'm going to pull out in a second, but I wanted to look through my nail charm little container because I might have those same charms in the photo, but I wasn't sure I had these, but these are more of a teal. So I actually don't end up using these at all but they were the same kind of design as the one in the picture. So um, yeah, I really love making these videos because I love showing you guys what I have and how I would utilize it to make, to recreate a set. Because I know sometimes it can be kind of challenging and you could get kind of discouraged if you're like, oh my gosh, that's literally a picture of like a, an acrylic set. I'm only a press on artist. I don't really know, especially if you've never worked with acrylic before. I think that's kind of an advantage I have here on my channel. I am, a, well, I was uh, a nail tech and I'm also a press on artist. So I have both advantages where I can kind of show you guys how to recreate things because I've done it in acrylic before so many times. So I could kind of utilize what I have here for gel with gel and press on stuff 
uh, to kind of recreate it, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I don't know, I'm like rambling. But anyway, um, let me just speed this part up. This is my big charm box. This one is from Eno Couture. I always get questions about where this charm box is from, the pink one. Uh, it's the cutest one ever and it holds so much products or so many different types of gems. So I really, really, really recommend this one from Enel Couture. I actually wanted to mention to you guys really quickly. I know a lot of you guys shop with them. I have had so many bad experiences with shipping time, like up to two months long. And the other day when I ordered from them, which was like a week ago, um, it was crazy, you guys. I ordered and literally two days later, it arrived at my door. I was like, there's no way that's crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that up and I did want to say that I'm going to be using those blue little gems and then these little regular silver ones as well. And these little pearls, like I said, I kind of wanted to do my own twist and kind of make the design however I think it would look cute. And I do have those little gold charms as well. I'm going to link some uh, charms and gems that I used in the description box down below. And one thing I did want to say as well is when you're using your matte top coat and you're going to put gems on top of it, the matte top coat is so smooth that you want to roughen it up a little bit if you're going to be putting gems on top. So I'm going to be using my Zule's Bling Adhesive. This bottle is on its last leg. I need some new uh, bling adhesive. And I did order two more bottles already. It says it's on its way. So yes, I just wanted to say that. Anyways, um, also, I did want to say that when you roughen up the edges, it just holds the glue a little bit better in case you're a beginner. I know if you're not a beginner, you probably know that already, but I just wanted to say that. And I'm going to be pulling out all the gems and opening up the little containers of the ones I know I'm going to use for sure because it'll just make it easier and faster on me so that I'm not opening up containers, you know, while I'm doing it. And another thing, you guys, I literally hate like struggling to flip over my gems while I'm working so I literally flip over my pearls ahead of time so that while I'm working I can just get it done and yeah I'm talking so freaking fast I'm so sorry I'm also taking some little small SS4 I believe AB rhinestones these look so pretty to fill in little gaps and little extra parts on your rhinestone placement if you don't already have really tiny little rhinestones highly recommend that you get them they're really cute and sparkly. You can't tell the quality so much. So you can get them from Amazon or wherever you want. And they look so pretty. It just makes your rhinestone placement look so put together for some reason. The same with like little gold beads. I also wanted to add some of those. But I ended up not doing that. So I'm kind of just shaking out my Zule's glue. Because it's so empty. Oh my gosh. I was kind of scared. Thinking that I wasn't even going to have enough for this set. But I did. I, I pulled it together. Everything was okay. So I'm going ahead and grabbing the rhinestone glue and I'm going to be going in with some random gems so I'm going to be going in with the silver one right here I love these they're so sparkly and I think I did get those silver ones on Amazon so I will link those for sure because I don't remember but they're so pretty that I was like I always think like these look so high quality and they really are so high quality so I'm going in with one of those blue stones I love it it looks like a sapphire it's so pretty and um then I'm going to be going in with the tiny ones on the sides. The one thing is Zule Bling Adhesive drives very, very fast if you've never used it before. So you'll see me constantly having to reapply glue, go back, reapply. Um, I keep forgetting that I should work in smaller quantities, like little bits by bits because the glue will dry so fast. But I try to work as fast as I can to make sure that I get there before the glue dries, you know what I mean? And I'm also going to be adding some of these blue stones just because it really brings it out. It looks so gorgeous when you add the blue crystals. And the inspo set also had blue crystals. So this is the rhinestone placement for this nail. It looks so pretty. Doesn't it look so elegant? It looks so cute. Like these are like so pretty for like prom or something. I don't really know. But really, really cute. I love it. For the middle finger, I'm going in with a nail charm. I'm going to be going in with the gold one and some blue stones right here on the bottom. I'm doing the gold one first because I noticed that in the photo, the middle finger in the photo had a gold charm. So I'm kind of slowly um, or little by little trying to replicate the picture, but it's not going to be identical. So yeah, these charms are so gorgeous and I know for sure that you can get these on AliExpress. So I'm going to actually try my best to link these ones for sure because they're so high quality and sparkly. You guys will love them. And like I mentioned, the Zule is drying on me, so I have to keep adding more and more. And the little charm was like a little bit bent like upwards. I had to re-bend it back into place. So if you see me doing that, that's why. And yeah, I was honestly just freestyling the gem placement. I'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch it. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm also gonna be adding some pearls here as well. And it just really gives it a different appearance. It makes it look so gorgeous. So I really hope you guys like it as much as I did.
Here is the placement. It turned out so gorgeous. To be honest, this is definitely one of those sets I would make for myself. Even if you did like a pink version of this, like for your birthday or whatever color you like for like uh, Taurus, Taurus season, like purple, maybe green, something really gorgeous with like green gems, purple gems, kind of sticking with the theme of the V tip or of the like line little tip nail or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. That'd be really, really cute. So if you guys replicate this or recreate it, please don't forget to tag me. I love seeing your guys' recreations. I know sometimes if I don't reply, it's probably because I have so many messages. If you tag me on my press on Instagram, just like tag me and then like tag me again or send it to me again most likely i'll probably see it but um i really love seeing your guys's recreations and i'll post it on my story as well so just you know just tag me let me know if you do it i'm just so obsessed with it but like i said i don't know the original creator of the inspo design but it's really cute it's just like the color tip and then the gems so it's really really pretty and i'm gonna be doing the same thing on this hand but i'm gonna speed it up a little bit more so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing again and yeah So after I'm done with the rhinestone placement, I'm going to go ahead and clean them off with the lymphree wipe, clean all the gems and everything, just because I don't want there to be any glue residue or the nail uh, glue dryer. I think, I don't know if it showed already, but I did use the nail glue dryer for both sets. I sprayed it on there because it makes your uh, resin or your glue dry uh, on spot like right away so that you don't have to worry about it, the gems like falling to the side or anything like that. If you've dealt with that before, highly recommend you try it out. But I'm going to be filing the sides and I do use my McCart uh, dust collector and I'm going to be using my little nail file and just filing the edges very, very, very lightly because I don't want to file off so much of the blue tip that I created. And if you have a little excess like a uh, nail that's sticking out kind of like a uh, gritty, you can use a buffer to take it all off if you know what I mean. So you could do that. And I am just going ahead and filing them lightly, like I mentioned. This gives a whole different look to your nails. Highly recommend you try this out if you don't already do this. It doesn't do anything to your gel polish. Your gel polish will not peel. It will not crack or like chip or anything like that. So yeah, it's really, really essential for me that I do that after every set. And next, I'm going to be grabbing my little boxes and I'm going to be putting them in their little box. I get my boxes from Amazon. I just search up cotton filled jewelry box 8 by 2 so eight inches by two is what I search up and those are the ones I buy. Sometimes I buy white ones, most of the time pink though because that's like my, my the whole color of my stuff. And yes, I'm so obsessed with this set. It turned out absolutely stunning. And I love how I actually um, just replicated it almost identical to the picture to be honest. Like you would probably, if you saw it from like a distance, you wouldn't even know they were two different sets. So yes, I absolutely love it. And if you have a little bit of gel polish that fell over to the sides, it's no problem. You can go ahead and file that off. Uh, that happens to me sometimes as well. So yes, I'm just going ahead and organizing them, making sure that they look perfect in their box and that they, you know, go very pretty together they're so gorgeous I'm, i literally know that the person receiving these is gonna love them because i feel like if i was a customer that sent that picture and i received this set i would be more than over the moon happy and grateful that they replicated it and took the time to actually try you know what i mean that's just something that i'm all about if you send me a picture or if someone sends me a picture of something i'm gonna try to make it uh identical to like the best of my ability and I'm just going ahead and fixing them. I don't know why I go back and forth, but sometimes it's funny because I go back and look at my video and I'm like, why was I doing that? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the process that goes on in my head, you guys. And I always wipe off my gems before I take pictures. That's like an essential thing as well. So here I was probably wiping them off. And then what was I doing there? 
Oh yeah. I forgot that when I have like metal charms, I like to top coat them because I want the uh, metal to be protected. So I totally forgot. So right now what I did was on this little gem, I just went ahead and added some top coat to make sure that the gem uh, or that the nail charm is protected so that it doesn't rust when it hits water. And I went ahead and just put the whole box under the UV lamp so it can cure. So I went in very lightly and just put a thin layer over it just so that it's nice and protected, like I mentioned, uh, just because I forgot to do it on that hand earlier. And yeah, you guys, now I'm going to be grabbing my little application kit. I actually recorded, I thought I recorded putting it together, but I didn't. But I am going to be making a little cuticle oil for her. I go in with my little cuticle oil mixture and I just go in and fill it up. And I grab these cute little designs. You can do like literally whatever one you want. I grabbed these silver butterflies, throw a little bit in there, close it up, and then shake it and make sure that it's all good to go. And then I, this is what it looks like. It's so cute. And I put it in there. So my cuticle oils do smell like juniper breeze is the name of the little essential oil that i use so i use that and then some jojoba oil vitamin e oil and just like mix together and this is the final result you guys i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh don't forget to let me know what you think down below give this video a like let me know what you would like to see next i've been dying to do my nails i haven't done my nails in so freaking long but I want to do both hands on camera. I want to hold myself accountable because I always do one hand and then I don't do the other one. But yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.